Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading for mid-January. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. <clears throat> all right, I am going to look at three aspects today. I'm going to look at sources of abundance right here, sources of love and any silver linings that we can look forward to. All right, I will pull the oracles, I mean, face them the other way as and when I need to. But let's see what we have. Sources of abundance for cancer. Stuck in your head about something. And this is typical because Mars and Mercury are still retrograding. But you're standing your ground regarding something. The Six of Wands wanted to show itself. Eight of Wands. Wow, that's a lot of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have Justice, the Lovers, the Queen of Wands, the Tower, Six of Cups, the Moon, the Devil. Let's see your Oracle. <clears throat> New Moon in Pisces, attuned to the Divine. Some of you may be healers. Some of you may be well into divination, astrology, when it comes to your career. You're stuck in your head though, Cancer. There's something that you are ruminating over, something that you can't stop thinking about. Now, because like I said, Mercury and Mars have both been retrograding and they will be in shadow for a bit, um, things haven't really been moving as fast as we'd like them to, okay? And when that happens, when we're stuck in the unknown, we can, well, start marinating in this, in this energy of lack. We have the Hierophant. Who was I saying this to? I was saying this to uh, Aries, I think. The Hierophant has three levels to his crown, okay? Initiation, apprenticeship, and mastery. I feel like you are, you may be looking at somebody else's, well, what was that quote? Don't compare somebody else's middle to your beginning. That's what I'm getting here. It's possible that you expected your career or whatever it is to be at a certain point, at a certain level by now, okay? But that gratification hasn't come about as fast as you wanted it to. Attune to the divine. Trust in divine timing. That is most important here. With the seven of wands, I don't see you giving up, which is great to see. You are cardinal water and you don't give up easily. But let's see. Yes, beautiful. And because you're not giving up, you will have that gratification that you want with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. It is a spark. It is an opportunity that is given by the universe to well bank upon, to monetize on. There's something about patience here that is very important, Cancer. You see with the Justice and the Lovers and the Queen of Wands with the Tower, don't wait for the other shoe to drop is what I'm getting. Be patient, trust in divine justice, trust in divine timing, and trust that all your hard work is going to pay off. We have the Eight of Wands, which talks about, well, again, something moving, things that have been stuck. Why is this showing up in your abundance column? Some of you, I have to address it, come on. Some of you may be waiting on communication okay from from a loved one and it's possible that you haven't been able to focus on work because you've been stuck in your head about a relationship i almost see the floodgates opening i see a beautiful conversation with declarations of love with declarations of passion coming in so that you can well start focusing on what it is that is going to truly bring you abundance that happens Every single area of our life, it, 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 they bleed into each other. So there's something here that is being balanced out. For some of you, it's possible that you may be in, well, in a business partnership with a spouse, with a partner, it is possible. And if things have been stuck when it comes to that, I do see things escalating and moving. My goodness, that's beautiful. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Sources of love. Now, if abundance shows up here, I'm going to scream. We have go the distance. Whenever I get this card, I think about playing the long game. I don't think about, well, instant gratification. We have the devil. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, or you may have it heavily in your chart. 
we have the magician gemini virgo energy mercurial energy and we have the page of pentacles the page of pentacles is a student <clears throat> it can also be a small message we have the eight of cups the hanged man the nine of swords the ten of wands and the world wow coming up now you see that that is you walking away from a whole lot of drama a whole lot of crap letting the arboris complete itself letting this end so that you can truly embrace happiness i wonder with the devil showing up if this is not capricorn energy then this is just something that has been very toxic and with go the distance i feel like you've it's almost been like a marathon not even a roller coaster not even a marathon it's been like one of those cross country obstacle races that's what i'm getting here and i feel like the true power that you were born with as the magician i feel like that power has been diluted thanks to whatever tie this was we have justice again so when justice shows up and the wheel of fortune shows up i always think of divine law okay i think of divine justice and karma coming in so if there has been something that's been well stuck and it's it's been festering and it's just become toxic balance is going to be well brought back into the picture is what i'm getting here let's get one more with the justice card <clears throat> the seven of cups for some of you it is possible that whatever connection this was it left you feeling very confused for some of you you may have been made an option it is possible but i feel like you did all the work you did everything right with go the distance you didn't give up on this <clears throat> and if with the seven of cups you were made an option the justice card is making sure that you're an option no more whether that is because you are walking away from this or it is because there's a realization on the other end we will see why is the magician here <laughs> that's a confirmation my friend walk away so you can truly embrace your true power your true authenticity and once you do that my goodness whoa would you look at that the knight of cups ace of cups 10 of swords 9 of swords you know what i'm getting for some of you i'm getting that once you finally get the energy and the motivation and the strength to walk away from this all of this comes back in this love that you've been wanting comes back in but i see you rejecting it and I, i'm hearing some of you say i don't want to go back to that hell hole that well that was a massive turn around let's see page of pentacles why is it here we have the ace of swords there will be a conversation and it may start off very very small i need one more for this it will start off very small but it's going to bring a whole lot of light to your situation we have judgment now it's possible that whoever this is may want to come back around for another go but guess what i see you saying no i i feel like you're exhausted you see the amount of action there is on this card you see that cheetah or is it is it a leopard i'm not sure but either way the amount of work that you've been putting into this situation i feel like you're tired i'm i'm getting breathless just doing this reading we have the empress the five of cups and the sun you're not focusing on things that make you sad anymore you're moving on you're moving on to your happiness you're moving on to what brings you growth what makes you shine i see this person feeling like you know they're missing out the whole fomo aspect of things i see them wanting to come back in they're coming back in as a page again so i feel like till this person elevates into well the equivalent of the empress i wouldn't give them the time of day what did i say about things bleeding into each other so whatever this is i feel like it bled into your career it bled into what brings you stability and security and you're realizing that and once you walk away from this regardless of what conversations are coming in till they come in correctly you're focusing on you you're focusing on your growth you're focusing on your career let's see the silver lining the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you how beautiful is this card 
sometimes we can start blaming the universe when we are being put through these obstacle courses we can start cursing the universe and being like what do you have against me right we need to realize it's happening for us and not to us sometimes the universe brings about our moments because it doesn't like the trajectory our life is taking there needs to be a restructuring a recourse so that we can truly reach that destination of happiness that as human beings we're constantly striving to reach ace of wands beautiful energy you have the ace of wands twice now the knight of wands <clears throat> and temperance stunning that's a lot of fire in one row could be deal wow page of wands at the bottom with justice again the lovers the queen of wands the moon the king of wands some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be but cancer i'm getting that you need to focus on things that bring you joy things that help you get out of bed in the morning that is the ace of wands that is that spark of inspiration and creativity and passion and i see that there is an individual right here with the knight of wands coming in to deliver that let me clarify wow it's not just passion it's a whole lot of love as well that is the silver lining for you the silver lining is just another pretty word for the future okay so this is what is coming in with cracked open i feel like it's possible some of you have been heartbroken right but what is that doing when your heart is broken it's open it's vulnerable and through this openness i feel like you are allowing these new opportunities to come in to soothe that pain not that we need external energies to do that we are whole and complete within ourselves but this vulnerability oh wow the five of cups i need one more here this vulnerability is inviting new beginnings the five of cups and the seven of wands i see you saying no again sometimes that vulnerability can also make us extremely scared and i don't blame you because with this knight of wands it's possible that the way this message is being delivered is very casual is very in and out energy it's not stable it's not permanent and again with temperance i don't see you giving up on this i see that you're being very patient you're waiting for this to suit you i'm curious to clarify temperance the death card you're not you're not scared to put an end to this and i love that the nine of pentacles that's beautiful energy because you are whole and complete within yourself you don't need anybody to come in and well complete you oh i need to see the bottom we have the three of cups the three of swords strength the hermit i'm almost getting that you're done healing from other people's bullshit i do see a turn around happening i do see whatever this is coming in um well correctly in in their language i don't think it's correct in your language whatever this is it needs to be made up for till it is made up for in the correct manner i see you putting yourself first and i love that let's get you some charms we have the letter a so you could have i mean this could be your initial could be the initial of someone you're dealing with doesn't have to be we have dream and we have blessed that reminds me of a tune to the divine trust in your dreams trust that you are blessed trust in divine timing trust that things are going to fall into place for you be vulnerable but don't wear your heart on your sleeve we have a safety pin which can talk about mending healing something giving something another chance but then again isn't it better to just buy a new fabric instead of patching up an old one that's full of holes right that's something to think about and we have love there is love in this situation that there's no doubt about it but till it comes in correctly in your language don't accept it cancer is this is just two weeks right this is not the rest of your life so that is the energy for the next 14 days but we'll see we'll see how this transforms when we do your february reading all right cancer that was it i hope this helped i will see you in the next one bye bye